What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Fife from MarketingMeatHead.com. Today, I'm going to go over the 2020 goals, uh, reminisce a little bit on 2019, and talk to you about your goal setting. All right, welcome back. So uh, I've made it a thing every year for the last uh, three years now. This will be the third year. Uh, that I've publicly put my goals out on the internet, on my blog, and then on a, a YouTube video as well. And uh, I've really noticed uh, a difference in being able to, number one, hit those goals and uh, improving on better goals, okay? So two huge differences uh, that I've been able to come up with because of doing this, okay? So I encourage you, if you are watching this channel, that's you, I'm pointing at you, you have a YouTube channel, okay? You obviously have a, a login of some sort, and I encourage you to go onto my blog post, I'll put a link below, and, you know, model my goals, okay? You know, have your financial goals, your skills goals, your, your relationship, your fitness goals, and put them all into uh, some kind of a post of some sort, or um, just put them on a, a Word document and shoot a video and put it up on your channel, okay? And you know what? Now you're accountable for those goals, and other people are going to see those, and they're going to be holding you accountable as well, okay? Because you've set those goals for yourself, and if you set a goal, then you have a lot higher chance of hitting it. If you have no goal, you have no chance of hitting it because you don't have a goal, okay? So, uh, you, you know, I like to, you know, use an analogy like a soccer game, okay? If there's no goal at the end, then what are you, what are you playing for, okay? You have, to, you have to go and get the goal at the end, okay? That's the whole point. So... Um, just a little bit of social proof here, uh, and before we move on, make sure you like this video if you like the content, and uh, share this with your friends if you find it valuable, and uh, this is a channel about uh, online and making money in 2020. We're going to blow it up, and uh, I just want to show you guys a little social proof here uh, so you know you're in the right place, okay, because if you land on this video and you don't know who I am, uh, you need to see maybe some social proof to who's this guy, uh, the marketing meathead, kind of a funny name, but uh, I actually do kind of know what I'm talking about, and I wanted to, uh, you know, just show you guys real quick oh, some things I'm, I'm working on here. Um, here's one of my websites. You can see here, Bachelor Vegas. This is the last seven days, 5,700 visits. Notice the increase, 56%. Uh, we are getting into our busy season. This is the last seven days of organic traffic, uh, so uh, pretty damn good. Uh, today, we Today, earlier in the day, we brought in about 30 leads between organic leads and uh, and uh, paid leads. I'm running some Google AdWords. I'm running some Facebook ads. And um, I'm actually going to be setting up some LinkedIn ads, uh, hopefully by the weekend here if I get a chance. Uh, so, you know, this is just one of my, uh, I have about, I don't know, 10 websites. And uh, probably like four or five of them get pretty darn good traffic. This is one of my biggest ones. So my New Year's site around New Year's gets more traffic than this, and my Halloween site around Halloween site gets more traffic than this. But uh, this is like Steady Eddie. This is one of the big ones I own, and uh, this is what called what, what's called an authoritative website. And uh, so we do talk a little bit about SEO on this channel, authoritative websites, blogging, uh, that kind of stuff here and there. But uh, you know, this is uh, this is definitely a money maker for us. Uh, my average order value in this business is somewhere around three hundred bucks, and. Uh, we close about 10 to 15 percent of the leads that come in from online, and uh, usually, you know, on a 30 lead day, we'll end up closing three or four. Um, so, you know, a thousand bucks plus a day, 1,300 bucks a day. Okay, give or take a little bit. Some days, um, you know, we don't close any, and some days we'll close like six deals. It, it's just, but it averages over time. Uh, it averages out. So, uh, this website uh, probably generates me. Uh, in the neighborhood of about 250k a year. Again, I said it's seasonal, so uh, we don't have a very uh, strong winter months here. They're kind of slow. Uh, not, not a lot of bachelor and bachelor, bachelorette parties are coming out to Vegas, which obviously makes sense. But the summer months we kill it. So uh, you know, this is just one of my income streams, which I have a ton. Okay, I have like probably seven income streams, eight maybe. I don't know. I don't really keep track. But uh, that's just one thing uh, I wanted to show you. Authoritative website. Uh, here is a, um, a dashboard for Stripe. Okay. And um, this, uh, this is just the name we have up here. That's not really the business we're using it for. But uh, that's just what the Stripe account happens to be under. But this is the last uh, four weeks. Okay, you notice uh, yesterday, today, you can refresh this. You can see it's real. Um, so this was uh, today so far. I mean, it's early in the morning when I'm filming this right now. It's like, you know, 2 a.m., okay, 3 a.m. So, uh, but in the last uh, four weeks, we've generated... Uh, 
fifteen thousand in just this one Stripe account. Okay, and that's you know it's not all profit. We have some traffic costs in there, but it's a very profitable campaign. Um, and that's just one account. Here's another one here. Uh, this is PayPal. I'll refresh this for you guys. Um, you know, just so you know, this is one of my PayPal's. I have two. Uh, this is just one of them, and this is in the last um, thirty days, past thirty days here. Uh, Fifty-five thousand dollars in sales. Okay, uh, very high profit margin stuff. I'm running in this as well. Um, so you know, just between you know the authoritative website, uh, the, the Stripe, and the and the PayPal, that's like a hundred thousand dollars in revenue in just one month. Okay, so when I tell people that I'm you know running a seven figure business, it, it's legitimately a multi you know multi seven figure business. Okay, this is the slower months and we're crushing it. Okay, so um, just to give you guys an idea that you know when I put stuff out on this channel, I'm not giving you guys a bunch of fluff of stuff that's not working now. I'm 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 showing you real world actionable uh things that i'm doing in my business to make more money okay um I, the other day i put out a video on uh, uh embed code uh, which is a product i'm using right now on my click funnels okay you know i have i have click funnels running here's click funnels i have i don't know probably how many funnels do i have 280 or 71 funnels in here okay so i mean i know how to build a funnel we, we know what we're doing okay there's 71 funnels for you uh, there's a uh, Google Tag Manager, okay? I'm gonna be doing a video uh, on this probably over the weekend. I'm um, having a little bit of an issue with uh, something on Google. I'm trying to figure out what's, why something's not talking, but um, it's, it's working for the most part, and it's really cool. This is a new system I'm using on all my websites uh, to track and put the code um, into the Tag Manager so I don't have like all these JavaScript codes on my website slowing things down. Uh, Google Tag Manager is the only code you need. You put all your JavaScript inside Tag Manager and boom, all your pixels and everything work, fire and everything. It's it's really cool. I'm going to show you guys a demo on what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to walk you through the setup, and I think you'll find it very valuable, valuable, and uh, you know you can use it in your business. Okay, you know here's Infusionsoft, uh, 179 campaigns. Okay, <laughs> it's, I mean it's ridiculous. Okay, there's so many campaigns in this Infusionsoft, like it boggles my mind. Okay. So this is, you know, another thing that I teach. I've, I've got a whole series on Infusionsoft on my channel. Uh, it's now called Keep or whatever, but it's it's the same damn thing. It's Infusionsoft, okay? So, um, you know, that's, that's it, okay? You know, I've given you guys videos on Grammarly. I use Grammarly to write the goals on for my blog, okay? So I teach you guys how to use gra Grammarly and tell you why I use it. And, you know, it's a little bit of money, but it's worth it, okay? It writes, helps you write incredible copy and, uh, you know, not have any spelling errors and stuff, okay? So... So, you know, everything I teach on this channel and show you guys is is very, very valuable, okay? So stick to this channel. If you could share this video, like it, leave me a comment, help the algorithm share, share this to more people. Uh, you know, I, I put out some really good stuff and I want, you know, I want more people to see it because, you know, again, I don't make any money from this channel really. I just do it for, uh, you know, because I, I enjoy putting out content and I enjoy helping people, okay? And I've got, I, you know, the people that are watching this is, are, you know, do thank me and stuff, so I do appreciate that. All right, so let's get started on the goals. I don't want to drag this on too much. I'm going to go through this fairly quickly because I know your time is valuable and I don't want to, you know, this is my goals, but, you know, th this is going to give you an idea of what you need to set up for your goals as well. But, um, you know, basically I, I talked about this already. I, I publicly declared my goals the last two years. Uh, I, I can't tell you how much it's been helping me, honestly. It's, it's like every year my business grows and part of it, a good part of it, is because I set these goals and I work really hard to try to achieve them, okay? And I hit all my goals in 2019, so I had to roll some of them over, but uh, at the end of the day, I did hit a bunch, and my business did grow, and it is growing. We're having, you know, an incredible start to 2020. I mean, you know, it's like, we're doing so well, like, I don't need to think about, like, money, really, okay? If I need to buy something, I just buy it. If I want to go on a vacation, I just plan it. it it's not like financial is an issue, okay? You don't have to think about... You know, I went to Miami for New Year's and spent $10,000 on bottle service. Big deal. I had a good time. You know, like, this sounds like a lot of money, but, you know, it was a good time. I mean, I had a good time. I don't regret it. Met some hot girls. It was fun. Okay? So that's, that's you know, what you can do when you start getting a lifestyle like this. All right? So let's talk about the financial goals. That's normally what most people want to talk about. Um, I'm trying to get the business revenue up to $1.75 million. Um, I did... Uh, I don't know what my 2019 numbers were. I haven't looked into my QuickBooks. I let my accountant handle that. Um, I'll probably figure that out by uh, April 15th when other taxes due, March 15th for corporations, I think. So um, I don't know what I did last year, but I know in 2018 I did about $1.5 million. So I probably was somewhere around there for 2018. I might have been a little bit less. We had kind of a, 
Um, we had kind of a weird fourth quarter in 2019. It wasn't as good as in years past, but uh, we've turned it around now, so it is what it is. We'll see. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know. But uh, that's my, my number for 2019. Um, this uh, this two hundred uh, two million dollars in investments. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I can to uh, get get myself into some real estate this year. Uh, I'm gonna I, I've done I've done some rehabs. I've done a couple of rehabs in my day, so I know a lot a little bit about uh, rehabbing houses. And I own a house currently, and I wouldn't mind getting another property out here so I can do some Airbnbs and whatnot in Las Vegas. So uh, we'll see. You know, if I can get uh, get my finances squared away and I can get some nice investments going, we'll see. Okay, that's uh, one of my goals. Mission and business goals. Uh, Progress College is my uh, educational brand. Uh, some of you have are watching this have taken my courses, and uh, we've had some successful students. And um, you know we continue to give uh, a lot of value in our um, Q and A sessions and whatnot. So uh, uh, basically, I, I may uh, I, I am having a meetup on the twenty fifth of uh, of two thousand twenty for students that have already bought my course, and. Um, you know we're gonna we're gonna work with uh, a couple of those students that are gonna be coming out for that one on one to try to get them to the next level. So that's uh, that's gonna happen. That's already planned for January twenty fifth. So that's number one goal. Number two uh, or number uh, three here or number four. Sorry, I will easily make and uh, release one course in two thousand twenty. Now I haven't decided if I want to do another course, a full course, or not. I may or may not. Uh, but I'm probably going to do some kind of a case study, uh, possibly on this campaign that we're running right now. Okay, so I will put out a case study. It'll be a paid. It won't be a lot of money. Um, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of anywhere from, you know, 97 on up to 497. It'll be a, a really good, valuable case study that'll be worth the money, depending on ultimately the the final numbers we end up with. Okay, so you know, I still probably going to put out some kind of a product for 2020, but I don't know if I'm going to do a full blown course again. It's so much work. Okay, um, looking to maybe hire someone uh, to join my team to do media buying and uh, potentially help with growing the business uh, for Progress College. So that's one of my goals for 2000. Uh, 20, uh, I'm working on maybe working on like a physical product and brand, uh, potentially to put out on Shopify and Amazon. Uh, you know, I can, you know, I can easily go out there and spy and find a winning product and run some ads and make some money, but uh, I don't think that's really the long-term solution. It's a lot of work, sometimes to not, not make much money. Sometimes you do make some money, uh, but at the end of the day, I would love to get my own brand out there. So that's going to be something I got my eye on throughout 2020. If I can come up with something creative, uh, I might jump down that road. So that's one of my goals. Um, videos, realistically, 52 weeks in a year. Um, I'm figuring maybe about three videos a week. I might cut it back to two or one and do a longer, more quality video. We'll see. But right now, I'm, I put my goal at 150 videos for the Marketing Meathead YouTube channel. I just got the uh, invitation to be monetized and it got accepted. So um, I still don't know if I'm going to run ads on my channel or not. I said I wasn't going to, but um, I've had a couple uh, friends of mine who have larger channels that told me that I need to run ads to grow the channel faster. So we'll see. I might change my mind. I haven't decided yet. Um, 100 blog posts, man, this is going to be tough for me. That would be uh, something like two a week. Um, I do have, uh, I just published this one, and I got two more in the hopper for this week, so good start to 2020. But, uh, man, I do not like writing blog posts. Uh, I do here and there just because I kind of feel like I have to, but it's not my favorite thing to do. I do have a writer that helps me out. Um, so, you know, we'll put, a, we'll put a goal of 100 blog posts for Marketing Meathead this year. We'll see, hopefully. Um, YouTube, I mean, there's really no way for me to control my subscribers, but I did go from a thousand last year at this time to over 20, almost 2,600 right now. Uh, so I almost, uh, double or more, almost like 1.5 my, uh, subscriber count. So if I can 1.5 again, that would put me somewhere around like six or 7,000, uh, which I think I can even go above that this year because I'm going to have some really good content, uh, coming up here in the very near future with some of these campaigns I'm running. So I'm hoping for 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Can't really control that, but it's something to achieve, try to achieve. And I'm thinking about doing a podcast, but not probably till uh, later in the year, okay? And that would be kind of along the lines of, um, you know, going along with my YouTube and whatnot. So we'll see. Uh, that's something I'm definitely thinking about doing. Uh, skills, uh, I want to still learn. Uh, this was one of my goals for 2019 that I didn't get to. Um, I want to really learn Google Analytics on a higher level. I'm starting to now. I'm actually... Uh, doing a lot of stuff with Google Analytics, so I'm actually getting a lot better at it as we speak. So uh, that is definitely something that I'm working on. But uh, I do have a couple of SEO courses that I bought and I paid for, just haven't had a chance to go through. Uh, I want to up my game on SEO a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't even mind at some point, maybe not this year, but maybe next year, building out another full-on authoritative website, maybe in a different niche or a similar niche, but not the same one. 
Uh, but I, I need a little bit more uh, knowledge on that because that's not my complete specialty. Okay, there's you know there's people that do SEO full time. That's not what I do full time. I do a lot of paid traffic and I run businesses, but I don't do SEO full time. So something I need to sharpen my pencil on a little bit. Uh, Adobe Premiere. I started training on that. Haven't finished yet. Uh, maybe this quarter I'll get up to the par where I'm using Adobe Premiere for almost all my editing. Uh, I'm working on that. That's this quarter. I already started. Uh, definitely a project. Uh, Adobe Photoshop, that's all, same thing. I'm trying to gonna learn Premiere and then Photoshop. Those are the next two big things I'm going to try to learn. Uh, my Lumex GH5S camera, these were all goals on 2019 that I didn't completely finish. But uh, I want to get somebody to come over and uh, maybe go out with me for a day out to the desert or whatever, do some shooting, really show me how to use a camera and do some vlogging and whatnot and um, kind of really up my game when it comes to my production on my camera and my vlogging and my editing. So... Uh, I'll probably hire a professional for that to help me and teach me. So that's going to be something I do maybe when the weather turns a little bit nicer and uh, in Vegas is a little more prime and the days are a little bit longer. Uh, and uh, YouTube uh, advertising. Okay, I'm actually taking a course right now on YouTube advertising. And I'm running traffic on Google AdWords. I'm going to be running some retargeting ads on Gmail, Google Display, uh, Search, and YouTube. Okay, so I'm learning all that right now. Uh, probably by the end of this quarter, I'll have that mastered, and I'll be able to show you guys some results and bring some of that to my channel. So that is one of my goals, and it's going to happen. It's already happening. Health and fitness, doing pretty good on that. Uh, actually, I stick to my workouts pretty good. Uh, I do cardio every day, and I do the gym like five days a week usually, sometimes six. And um, I did shrink my waistline, but uh, I kind of fell off the wagon throughout the Christmas uh holidays like most of us probably do i started eating a little bit more didn't really work out that much didn't do cardio as much and uh, i definitely can feel it a little bit i can see it it's no my abs aren't quite as good as they used to look in uh, december so uh we'll work on getting that back by summer and uh the spiritual mind goals uh the the morning meditation i do enjoy meditating however in the winter months when it's cold here i tend to spend my 30 minutes that i would be meditating uh learning more stuff like learning premiere or learning uh youtube advertising that's what i'm doing right now but in the summer months i don't take on as much responsibility typically and what i do is i like to do cardio in the morning ride my bike and i like to jump in the pool and i like to meditate in my pool okay so that's what i will i'll be doing in the summers uh so that's part of my goals for 2000 uh 20 and uh, 12 books. Uh, I just finished a book here. In fact, I'm going to be doing, uh, let's call this, this is a mystery book. I'm not going to show you guys, but it's a hardcover and it's really good. Uh, I just finished that one. I'm work, I'm reading another one right now as well. Try to get like a chapter in a day or two. And uh, I'm going to be doing a video on that book actually uh, later this week possibly. So uh, keep your eye out for that. And uh, relationship goals. This has always kind of been uh, one of those things that's a little bit tough for me. Uh, when I'm doing all these other goals, okay? Having a relationship with someone is really hard when you have no time to go on dates, when you don't have time to travel very much, when you pretty much work like 15, 16 hours a day, uh, you kind of have to cut out the relationship stuff. So I'm hoping after quarter one here, when I get some of these skills developed that I need and uh, things are going the way they continue to go right now, um, I'm going to start maybe spending a little more time on this, okay? So uh, looking maybe to find a uh, girlfriend this year, uh, somebody that I can start maybe trying to maybe settle down with. We'll see. Um, you know, who knows? Um, I definitely want to do like a romantic experience. I'm actually planning maybe a snowmobile trip in, um, uh, in uh, February. So that's one. And then I'm sure I'll do something in the summer and maybe in the fall as well. So uh, that's definitely one of my goals. And uh, as far as keeping in touch with my family members, uh, yeah, I probably need to work a little bit harder on that. Uh, my mom's going to be going through a tough time here real soon. Her guy's uh, having a real hard time. He's almost 90. He'll be 90 in a couple weeks. And, uh, you know, he's not doing so hot. So that's going to be something I need to work on. And uh, finally, uh, connecting with more friends. I've actually been doing this uh, in 2000, um, 2019. I started this. I started connecting with some of my old college buddies and uh, some more people that have been coming to Vegas instead of saying I'm busy, I can't go out, I'll meet them out and stuff. And it, I've actually been like enjoying it. Like it's nice to start, you know, kind of hanging. One of my buddies, he recently got a divorced, uh, divorce, and I used to hang out with him in college, and, and we, we were roommates after college. And now he's single again, so it's like he's back in like my game. You know, he went through having the whole kid thing. He's got like four kids, but he's single, so he's like, dude, I'm meeting you out in Miami, and we had a good time. And it's just, it's just nice to be able to like. Uh, connect with some of these guys and, and you know it's funny I didn't go down the whole marriage and kid road I kind of stayed single that whole time while everyone else did but now some of these guys are cutting out of their relationships they got kids and you know now they want to live the single life like I'm living so it's kind of funny but uh, 
Let's finish this off here by, uh, I got three more, and then we're done for the day. Um, I will easily do a fun activity every month. Uh, I'm working on the snowmobiling trip, concerts, sporting activities. This is something I definitely need to work on because I, I work so much, it's hard for me to squeeze stuff in, but I'm going to work on it. Uh, I want to do another trip to uh, Europe uh, this summer. That's probably going to be in the works very soon. And uh, the conferences I'm going to attend, uh, my usual two, I'm going to go to the Affiliate Summit West in Vegas on the 26th of January. Uh, so if you're going to be there, hopefully we can uh, maybe network and stuff and meet. And uh, I'm definitely going to hit the uh, Traffic and Conversion Summit in uh, San Diego. I like going to that. Number one, I like going to San Diego. I like the town. i got some friends there. And uh, I do like that conference. It's good. It's a valuable conference, and I, a lot of people are there, a lot of uh, people to network with. And uh, the way my business is going, I'm, I'm going to that next level this year at some point, and it'll be good to be there with some other like-minded entrepreneurs. So uh, that's it. Oh, and finally, the uh, spiritual goals, um, do donations. Uh, I did do a big donation to... Uh, you know, a couple of charities this year I did, uh, well, one wasn't really my choice, but, uh, the guy actually had a loan out to him and he took his own life. So that I consider that a charitable donation, but, uh, it is what it is. I did do, do an actual real donation to uh, Russell Brunson's cause, uh, which was, I think the underground railroad. So I'll probably do something along those lines again this year, but, uh, $5,000 is my number I put on that and we'll uh, go from there, and uh, that's it. I mean, that's the uh, 2020 goals for me. Uh, this is gonna be on my blog post. Again, I'll put a link below. Go ahead and model my goals, uh, come up with your own, and uh, I'll probably check in on these goals once a quarter, and, and you should do, should do that as well. Make sure we're kind of staying on track to hit them before the end of the year. Uh, I really do feel like most of these goals that I set are very achievable. I mean, you know, things happen and potentially uh, things, you know, could go awry. But uh, for the most part, I think we're on the right track right out the gate for 2020 to hit all these goals. So uh, hopefully we can do that. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's content. I am the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.